Hello there everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Yumituki. Um, this is uh, a little, kind of a special episode. We're going to do a special episode on the, on the back of our Celebritus 100... Oh, Celebritus is a word, right? Our celebratory 100th episode. We're going to do something. I'll look at that. It's a lovely evening. Oh, what a pleasant evening. The nipples are looking particularly pink this evening. Um, we're going to do something a little bit different. And uh, unfortunately... The kind of awe and interest of this has kind of been killed a bit because I've recorded this video and I'm not even kidding about fucking five times, uh, and and some shit, some some really cool shit happened when I was recording it. Not that, um, like some cool things came up on here, um, but the recordings were fucked, or um, I wasn't happy with it and I just had to do it again. So this is this is another attempt at it. And, um, yeah, we're going to do something special. Some of you might have already guessed what it is. If you have, well done. If you haven't, well, it's not too late. In fact, you might have the inside track compared to some of these other schmucks who've already guessed. Look at this, right? Look at this. Someone someone who's aware can perhaps answer me this. What is up with this sudden transition when you go through here? This happens in a couple of places through the dream world. Um, and I don't get it. So what are we going to do? Maybe we're going to find out what's behind this door, yeah? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. It's about fucking time. It's been there for so long. Stupid, stupid chairs. Get out of the way, chairs. Um, so, I found some interesting things. Although I'm going to put them in another video. See, it doesn't there as well. I'm going to put it in another video because um, I wanted to kind of recap on various things. But what we're going to do today, first of all, we're going to put all of our effects into these little uh, pedestal things. As you do. As you do. Now you might think from watching me do this that there is some semblance of a pattern. You might think that. Justifiably. Yeah. I mean, I, I would I would back that up. If you said that to me in a fight, I'd be like, yeah man, I'm not going to fight you. You know what you're talking about. But then the phone goes up here and you're like, okay, well... One outlier's alright, but then you're like, where the fuck's the China dress thing? And it's like, oh, it's up here. Top right. Top right in it. I have no idea if these are grouped perhaps in some way that is not immediately obvious. But I ain't plugged in enough for a, that sort of deal. Now, where to next? Okay, that's good. I like it when it's all laid out logically. Oh, I really shouldn't have switched to that right now. It makes this whole process even more agonizing. Yeah, so recording shit. There's me going on about, yeah, the the recording production values have gone up a lot. And then and then it, it, it ruined it. It ruined it hard and I was really, really pissed off. Now, what's this? This is the bat effect. Where's a bat? Do you see a bat? I don't see a fucking bat. Although apparently, this here is a bat. It looks to me more like kind of a boot with a wing on it. Maybe that's what a bat. Maybe that's what bats are. People always say them as flying rats, but maybe they're actually more like flying shoes. Like uh, oh god, no, it's not. It's this one, isn't it? Um, a flying sneaker or a, a flying um, a flying cowboy boot. I got a pair of cowboy boots. They're fucking badass and. Stomp around all over the place. That's what you want to do. Uh, yep, that. Not sad to be rid of that. Two pedestals here. We got nothing to put on them. We're not putting the instructions on them because that's stupid. Don't ever say that again. But they don't have pillows either, which makes me wonder if they are intending to add any more effects. Hmm. I mean, the game has kind of been boring since they made us go get the bomb effect again. And when I say boring, I mean uh, worse for it. I guess. So did that open up this little area up here? Well, if it does do anything to this, I don't fucking know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I guess there's um, I guess there's only one thing to do. This is a Yumi Nikki fan game after all. So, what do you do in a Yumi Nikki fan game if uh, the thing that looks vaguely climactic? Yields no results. You wake up. That's what you do. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. 
Get real. Get with the program. It's a nice, lovely evening still. But wouldn't you know, a staircase. How, uh, how ominous. Certainly not following in the footsteps of your predecessor, huh? Quite literally. She fair thunders up those stairs. I don't think she wants to go off. Hmm. No, you know what? Let's not. Take that stairs. Take that innocent pedestrian walking past. Are we gonna go outside? Yeah. Do it. Yeah! Woo! Shame about the music though. Unfortunately. Oh, look at that. It's the guy with the finger for sign head thing. And the trees. You remember the trees. There's a uh, old Jekyll, Vulcan, 945, Yom, ASDF. Someone's got as good a name as me. Yeah, that's a good name. There's the Sydney Opera House, Workhev, 99. Oh, we haven't been there in ages. That's old school. That's old school. Oh, no one's happy to see you. The only time you come across you is by mistake. That's never good. My name is 20. Where's the phone? You forgot the phone! Get the phone back. I can't believe you forgot the phone. Could be ringing off the hook. Hey you, back alley dweller. It's good to see you. You've got a bike as well, it looks like. Look at all these things. Hey, that painter guy who's painting the unspeakable thing. Uh, we better, better not think about that. And you. I think that's from underwater area, if I remember right. I can't, I can't quite remember. And you. In your little house. You never really did much, but that's okay. And then the, the staircase up to the, the alien ship. Yeah, he's waving. I'm waving at you, buddy. Yay! Yay! And that. Submarine. With a palm tree growing out of it. And uh, a little baby. Uritsuki. And an egg. But then... Just a guy watering the plants. That's from that garden area. We haven't been there in a while. And, uh... I guess that's it. We've, we've arrived at our destination. We've arrived at our destination. Time to park up. Enjoy the flowers. I get to where we're going. And where we're going apparently is this house. And an advert for Windows 10. And the music's gonna start again. We don't need to hear that. So, the implication there is that apparently Urutsuki was not home. Now, I don't mean that in like the metaphorical sense, as in she's a bit loopy. I mean that in the, the actual sense that she wasn't at home. So where the fuck was she? Was she just at, like her friend's house and just slept there and, like, and had some crazy adventures. She had 20 fucking hours worth of crazy adventures just tripping on the bedroom floor. Yeah, that sounds, sounds right, right to me. So that's Ed number two. Ed number two, good. Um, good, so that's Ed number two. Good, well, quite happy with Ed number two. Nice little nostalgia trip. Um, but we're not done though, are we? We're not done, the staircase is still here. Now, we made a decision to go back down. We can't go up or down, we have to either go left or right. But what if we did the thing, the unspeakable and yet somehow cliched thing of going left? You can't, oh yeah, you can. Time to wake up. That's a little toy, Urutsuki. P? P? 
Who's B? Like Team Rocket? Where is that? We don't know that place. Oh, the moon looks kind of familiar. So I guess the implication there is that Uritsuki is actually the toy for some creepy-faced little girl who apparently keeps a frisbee on the the coat hangers, and we sent nice to a dog. So I guess life's all right. Um. Yeah, do we want to... I'm going to just quickly turn that down a little bit because I don't really want to listen to that in the same volume. Um, but we'll, we'll let it run because I'm some cool fan art. So this puts in the position of wondering, um, what did we think of those endings? Now, oddly enough, I'm a little bit conflicted about which one I prefer. Um, this one has characters in it that appeal to me more. Like, I like the little characters that come flying past. But the other one has a bit more... kind of pathos, a bit more like that's the journey. Here's here's one conclusion to it. It is only one of quite a few. There are a lot, of, well I say a lot, there are more endings than what we've experienced right here. Um, but I'm tempted to say I like this one more just because of the, the little characters that fly past and it has some vague tying up of things. I guess the suggestion is that Uritsuki is actually a toy. Well, when you say it like that, okay, maybe it isn't the best ending in the world, but okay, um, maybe that's alright. And the fan art's cool. Um, we don't get to see any pictures of Uritsuki with like a massive pair of jugs or something, because that's that's what happens if you look for fan art, usually. I get my eyes scarred with that shit all the time. Pretty sure that picture might have actually been it, I don't know, she did look quite pleased with herself. Sweet Poison Candy. Fresh Cafe. 100 free high quality wooden texture packs. That's not a good thing to have credit for in your free game. <laughs> it looks naff. Um, I never noticed that. Presented by, I think that means Project Demutic or something. So that's Ed number three. Ed number three. So we haven't got Ed one or Ed four or indeed any other Eds. Um, so let's just, okay on that. So, and if we go back outside now, no ladders, that's it. We'll We've experienced that no more. And I just want to, before we go any further, just clarify that me doing this is not me throwing in the towel by any stretch of the imagination. If you guys think that's what's happening, fucking think again. I've already got shit I want to show off on the channel. But what I thought is the opportunity to actually do the ending of the game is going to come up seldomly, conveniently, other than me eventually getting to the end of all the content, which seems to be really unlikely. So it seemed to me that this was kind of a nice, a nice natural breaking point for us to to do that. Um, no, no, I don't like the sound of this. This is a bad idea. I wonder if Gimmick Runner's changed at all. There you go, Gimmick Runner. Okay, I don't know what's happening. Um, yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, the, it were. Oh God. That noise is just awful. Okay, we, we okay. Gimmick runner is off the table. It's too surreal. Um, not the end. Definitely not the end, guys. Don't interpret it as that. I just wanted to share this with you because it's a hundred. We've gone through a fucking hundred episodes of this, and we haven't even seen what ending we would have naturally got from our adventure. And I wanted to see it. I'll be honest. I wanted to see it. I hadn't seen it. I didn't know what it was. I'd been denying myself that for fucking six years. Um, and anyone else who's been playing alone hasn't seen the ending or read up about it, you know, there you go. Uh, there's still loads to see. There's still stuff to see. I wouldn't say loads is perhaps being optimistic. Um, what I learned in my little adventures the other day is that some areas that I always thought were really interesting seem to be completely abandoned. I might even do a video about that just because there's some, there's some really cool areas that just, they just kind of fray off at the ends and don't go anywhere. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. That's two endings. Uh, let me know which one do you think was better. I'm leaning on nothing, but I'm also thinking that the bike one is possibly my favourite. I don't know. I just don't like Uritsuki jumping off a balcony. It seems really cliche. We're going to save, because I didn't fucking save last time. How about that? 
It was, we didn't get wallpapers. You don't get wallpapers for completing the game. It'll be fucking stupid. You get wallpapers for the most stupid, arbitrary bullshit you can think of. I guess, I suppose technically this is episode 101. We'll see. Thanks for watching, everybody.